Hello guys, it's me again. Your boy, the Sue Pine Smokey. Now, I'm here to talk about today about my first ever WWE live event. Here at the Wembley at the Wembley Arena, the Wembley SSC Arena. It was really really cool. Although on one for the for one, on, on the one hand, I was sort of disappointed Roman was wasn't wasn't able to attend the show rest of the show because if you can't tell by now from my intro, Roman is my favorite wrestler. So I was somewhat disappointed that he wasn't able to show up. But nonetheless, it was a great show, a great event, large turnout. Despite what many people say about WWE not being able to sell out arenas, well, it's almost a guarantee every time they come overseas that they're going to sell out the arena. But yeah, I mean, it was a really, really good event and... Here are a few highlights that I captured. Oh, no one! Well, guess what, London? That's too bad, because I found three good brothers to walk with me tonight. To my right!
case you didn't know, in the audience tonight is the director of Marine 5 Battleground and London Zone, James Nunn. Wait a second. I said London's own, and you're booing one of your own? Yes. What, because he's associated with me? Yes! Wait a second here. You did Marine 5. You did Marine 5. I did Marine 5. James did Marine 5. None of you did Marine 5. Matt Hardy didn't do Marine 5. You know why you didn't do Marine 5? Because you're not stars. You don't have
Help me out here, huh? What are they saying? As you can see from the highlights, it was a really good show. Really, really enjoyed the Samoa Joe Finn Balor match. The Miz's um, rude impression. We enjoyed giving Elias stick. It's always fun to give him stick. I mean, personally, he made fun of London. I can't have that. And that was to get him back for for making fun of Jay Z and Biggie because I'm a big rap fan, a big hip hop fan, and that's a no no for me. Can't be making fun of Jay Z and Biggie, I won't have that. Mm -mm. I won't take that. <laughs> Watching, I think it was Cesaro. Yeah, Cesaro getting triple power bombed by Triple H, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins was really, really cool. Oscar and um, Mickey James had a very, very, very good match. And I also noticed a lot of people were trying to get the fans to stop booing Jason Jordan, but the fans were having none of it. I think the majority of the fans that did um, sort of react to him coming out actually cheering him on what else was here yeah. and it was kind of fun watching the, the referee have a go at um i think it was Seamus. yeah he put his hands on the ref and the ref wasn't having any of that <laughs> so that was cool it's a really really fun event really really cool and i was really really happy that um even though they've been traveling around the world they they really gave us a good show it wasn't really they didn't half ask it they, they came out there and they were going and they were on it, like really going after each other, really colliding and hitting each other, which was really, really cool. And, and I can't wait to go to the next one. I mean, I'm trying to see if I can get time off work to maybe go to Raw or Smackdown taping at DO2 in, in May. I'm probably going to try and get tickets to the Newcastle show, live event show, which is at the Metro Head Arena, which is kind of cool because... I actually saw my first ever live wrestling match, a live event at that same arena. And it was, and in the main event, it was AJ Styles versus John Mundo or John Morrison, as he was known in WWE. And Rey Mysterio wrestled Jay Lethal on the card as well. So that was pretty cool. And that was, all, and that was all on my birthday. Uh, that, was, that was two years ago. So that was pretty, so that's pretty cool. So, oh, and to commemorate, the, my attend my me go into the show. I've got this cool little program which uh, has um, pictures and names of people. We have Kurt Angle, Shane McMahon, Daniel Bryan, Stephanie McMahon, so, uh, your boy Roman, your boy Roman and the Beast. <laughs> Is almost foreshadowing in it. We're in January. It's Royal Rumble season, and it's foreshadowing. It's coming. Uh, just show you a few more. 
Randy Orton and uh, the, the best wrestler in the world, in my opinion, AJ Styles. You see, kind of cool that they've got this shot, this nice little shot of AJ doing the thing because I may have a little something, a little surprise for you guys, maybe later on, maybe this month or this year, but I'll have a little something coming, um, a little surprise for you with this for with AJ, um, involving AJ style, should I say. So, and to finish, to finish, I'm uh, just going to...